Yeah, you're right. So anyone saying that we need to get rid of stages, um, I'm sure there's all kinds of people on the SoCal, uh, you know, the, so the SoCal rules think tank that are like, yeah, we don't need more stages. And I'm just like dying on the inside. So, so you are you're a proponent of more stages. Yeah, we need to throw in more stages, man. Okay, we we'll we'll talk about that yeah. after this. Oh uh, wait, wait, wait. What the hell? These, these guys are on different. They're on the same names as the previous Facebook and Ramy. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, he's using Ramy's controls. And they're oh. using Isabel. Uh, you know I what? I'm salty. Amir just put in the whole entire <laughs> amiibo nonsense. I really and then what Isabel? I really hope okay. that this is the matchup this we is, get. No, this is actually uh, advanced. Uh, oh man, look at the zoning. He's just keeping him away off stage. Look at this edge guard just self. Oh, he put away that stock. Man, no Sheena, damage. JB two coming out from. Sheena Randy. got bodied <laughs> that game. Oh my god. No, okay, okay. I know that Aimer plays um, the me gunner, but I, I really, really, really. Did I mention I want to see this matchup? The me gunner versus what? Sheena? No, I, I want to see <laughs> Isabel versus Isabel. <laughs> yeah. Ramey versus Facebook controls. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that really badly. Are they really? Did I? We're mad. We are mad in the commentary booth because he put in all the amiibos and then he went as Yeah, a <laughs> wait a minute. You did all that and then you did a. Uh, I'm salty. Yeah, I'm salty too now. It's all right. It's uh, Isabel. Again, another very common character in the metagame today. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I, I see nothing but Isabel everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, I don't know what happened in the last patch, but Isabel got nerfed for what? Um, like, did you see? No, I didn't see it, because again, no one plays Isabel. They they could have given Isabel like the instant win button and I would not know the difference on. <laughs> they nerfed her projectiles. And then they, they like I think they fixed the bug, but like her, her um her fishing rod was not working properly. Uh -huh. It was just like going through people. So it's like not only are you completely nerfing a character that's already underutilized, right. but like you gave her bugs, <laughs> you know. Is the fishing rod is the fishing rod considered a grab? Uh I, honestly man, it's not a true uh, Command grab right. because you can shield it. There so you go. It's Bam! Like, Irritated index got the answer correct. Yeah. I've asked like at least 20 other people that, like, you know, just trolling around with them about game knowledge. And they're always like, oh, yeah, it's a grab, of course. Uh, you, you grab the opponent and they're like, it's false. pseudo. <laughs> it's pseudo. Yeah. Because it goes through shields. Get wrecked. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 my theory is that because they shafted uh -huh. zoners so hard in the last patch, they're going to give like a bevy of treats. You know, to these characters. So I really, really hope that Isabel gets some love because, like, come on, why'd you do it? Why every everybody's most lovable dog? Come on. I mean, that's got kind of the Nintendo MO. I don't know if they're necessarily as concerned about balance. Like, you know, they're, they're, Nintendo is not Thanos, right? They they don't care about th uh, balance in the universe at all. I'd Sometimes like they're okay with some of the characters just being completely terrible and. You know, they're like, let's make this character worse, and <laughs> it's all good. I'm with that. I, I think, um, yeah, in terms of, like, Nintendo uh, being what it is and not really as enveloped in the, the competitive scene uh -huh. as it is, they're not too worried about character diversity. But I don't want to speak for Nintendo. Right. We should probably <laughs> get on the match here, because right now, it yeah, is actually... We, we, got a, we got a back and forth, two uh, umbrella rebuttals. Look at, like, Mary Poppins out there just popping people left, popping people right off stage, mm -hmm. and that tied it up, and... Oh, um, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, is Shine using Facebook in the name? Yeah, Was yeah. he using Facebook last time when he played Tony? He, and got he was. Place? Okay. He was. Yeah, it's it's the commentator's favorite where yeah. they don't use the actual name. I don't know what the logic is, but hey, everyone's got a different reason. Yeah. But we like Aimer for using his name. Yeah, I can't, you know, actually, I don't even know which one's which based off the colors because it's, uh, I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. Shine is on the right right now, and uh, Aimer's on the left, I believe. <laughs> yeah. That means Shine is in a world of hurt with one stock. They're, the they're both the cute one. Yeah. Oh, and the names pop up every once in a while to help. As soon as I figured it out, I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, Lux, here's the name, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, right now, uh, ooh, forward tilt. Forward tilt's okay. Uh, I, I, think I've, I, I think I saw it, uh, it being used as, like, a... a a ledge trapping option. Right. It's probably not too bad. It seems fairly safe. Well, that's how they kill they took a couple of those last stocks, you know, they just went back and forth and you know I think that's forward tilt, right? They just forward tilt each other with the umbrella. Yeah. Um, they're living off stage, you know, the true villager game plan. And they're both throwing out they're both going fishing for these fishing rods. 
Yeah, Aimer has a lot more leeway in doing so than uh, than Shine does. Ooh, oh, the tag, the tag. Yeah, triple turn up and he's still surviving with the tag. Yeah. And that's at 147%. No red flash. That move sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you you meant it. You were really coming out here taking souls today. <laughs> if that was if that was Villager, that would have killed. I'm just saying. Yeah, actually, you probably would have. Oh, we got the taunts. Just take it out, Aimer. Just, just take it out, dude. Oh, almost got back thrown. Yeah, he gets a shimmy dash attack coming through, and here we go. Tries the forward tilt for the kill. Oh, yo, is this where Shine makes the comeback? Um, I'd be surprised, but it's not not out of the question. You just got to be godlike for, you know, 190% deficit, no big deal. Isabel's definitely wall equipped to handle it. Oh, my God, that did not kill. Isabel can't what? kill, dude. What is this? Isabel cannot kill. That should kill. Okay, we're good. Uh, there's, some, there's some justice in the world. A little yeah. bit. A little bit. Nintendo, why would you nerf? What were you thinking? That's what I'm saying. Like, why would you nerf a character that I just... It really makes you think. <laughs> it really makes you think how how much attention is being paid by Nintendo to the to the metagame. That doesn't make me think. It makes me feel. It makes me feel angry. Yeah. <laughs> like, <what the> hell? <laughs> I, I implore you, Nintendo. I love you guys, but you do silly stuff. Sometimes. All right, we got a game and watch. Oh, he went over uh, me. All right, it's uh, there's lip sticking hands. I think it's uh, me sword. I, I. There's a random question mark. Dude. The Riddler. Dude. What is okay? Okay. Okay. Talking we about got creative Link genius. And got Jigglypuff. Okay. These guys. Okay. All right. There's one famous set where this matchup was played, and it was like that Smash United event. Hungrybox versus Salem. Hungrybox nearly beat Salem and Link versus Jigglypuff. So we can't immediately discount Jigglypuff as being out of this matchup. I almost never discount, well, that's not true, but I think Jigglypuff is actually a fairly okay character. Uh -huh. um, I think her aerial mobility is really sweet, and I think that she has some nice hitboxes, especially like on things like Nair. Like she has some good out of shield options, yeah. you know? Um, and she kind of rules when it comes to the edge guarding. I just think that uh, some of her other normals leave a lot to be desired. Like right. when you look at down tilt, and it's just like, you know, what is this move supposed to do? Um, but it's funny that uh, Shine ran him a character that he had already used in tournament once. And I'm not sure Aimer actually has a Jigglypuff, and it's showing right now that forward smash being taken very cleanly. And sometimes the RNGesus is not favorable, and you end up with Jigglypuff. I'm just going to assume that these two are just loaded and just have so much money they can just go to tournaments and be like, hey, whatever, I don't care about this cheese. Oh, oh yeah. What? Shine, that is not fair. <laughs> it's a Jigglypuff. Yeah. It's yeah. a it's a party balloon. All right, there's a forward smash. That'll that, that'll restore some order. But Amor's got his work cut out for him. He's got to get a you know give it a rest or two. Ah, uh, rest. Uh, I see what you did there, buddy. I see what you did there. Was Not, that intentional? It's always intentional. Are you kidding? <laughs> you know who you're talking to? Now I do. I have no idea what I'm talking about most of the time. But when it comes time for puns, you know it's. Uh, they're there for me when I need them. Well, thank you, Lux, for being there. Oh, my God. The hero spin just charged on They had really no options, except for being Jigglypuff off stage and floating there forever, you know. Forward <laughs> tilt wall coming up. <laughs> um, and, you know, Aimer, yeah, okay, then. We are just trolling today. Yeah. Um, this is just going to end. This is just going to end in a W for Shine. Yeah. I'm just going to call it right now. And this is winner's quarters, right? This is, we're pretty deep in bracket, and this is, this is going on. I think we are. I think there's we are. There's the up, reverse up. Oh, in. boy. That was, there's a bomb going high. There was an up special going low and covering everything, and Jigglypuff got checkmated. They haven't <laughs> left the stage yet. Is this semifinals for best of three or best of five? Let's find out. Bobby, is this semis or um, okay. quarters? Okay, so it's quarters. Okay. That was quarters, so they're about to jump into it for a third game. Okay, now we're finally getting the, the sword. Wait, what happened? I, I, wait, what do you say? Oh, did uh, Aimer win the first game? Yeah, he won the first game. Oh, I was confused. I thought uh, Shine won the first game. Yeah, oh, yeah. The dittos, man. I couldn't tell the, color, the colors. That's my bad stream. That's my second time tonight. Yeah, Shine definitely got raffle stumped. Yeah. Um, All right, so it's 1-1. One, one. Okay. Yeah. We're even here. <laughs> okay, so now we get Lux to... Lux is confused as heck. And you, uh, boy. Quality commentating today. Sorry, uh, stream. Actually, I'm not too sorry. No, I think we're doing great. <laughs> we are doing <laughs> We are doing, doing our best, and that's all that matters. <laughs> I, I think we're doing a wonderful job. And, uh, you know, I'm actually rather surprised that we're not getting Gunner. 
Uh -huh. We are not getting Gunner. Uh, well, we saw him float his, you know, float the, the hand over before he put his coin down on random. He was thinking of going sword, you know, just in general. And but I, I have to agree that I think legacy-wise, Aimer's, you know, his Gunner has always been his go-to in pressure situations. But then on the other side, you have Shine going Pokemon Trainer too. So I don't even know like who Shine. Like seriously plays. Um, he plays everybody. Doesn't he have like a fox? Or, or am I just saying that because he has Shine? A Lucas, <laughs> he has a Donkey Kong, he has a Squirtle, an Ivysaur, a Charizard, a Link, uh, an Isabelle apparently that didn't do so well. <laughs> he's, Jeez, got a, man. he's got everything. Okay, okay, okay. Taking that out. Here. Yeah, there we go. We got an even match coming into the second stop. And Aimer doing his best. Uh, that might be the long con, because I would I would assume that Aimer is definitely the underdog playing against Shine. Could yeah. you imagine getting your opponent to agree to an Isabel Ditto and then a random match? I don't and know. And then stealing what? the victory in game three. <laughs> I, yeah, that that is some big brain plays right there. Um, That's what I'm gonna go for. I, I'm convinced that Aimer is a bit of a hidden boss. You know what I mean? Yeah. Semantics aside, I, I think he's actually a pretty good player. Um, he's doing okay right now. No, he's a great player. I think the only knock on him has been, you know, but it might be something about his characters that he picks. Sometimes he, he gets the lead and then just isn't able to close it out. Mm. And right now he has the lead. Let's see if he's able to change up that narrative. It definitely helps if uh, Shine just ends up dying on his own. Oh, yeah. And Shine looking at a loser's bracket run, mm. you know, dead in the face. And, oh, there's a jab lock. That's some big damage. He got oh. another one, the double dip. All right, twitch clip time. Here we go, I don't Shine. Usually, I don't usually see that. Shine living up to his name, telling uh, Aimer to die only in, uh, in Smash language that time instead of Japanese. She knew, said Shine. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, okay, we're gonna get out of that. We, uh, we're gonna get right back into the blender of Squire. Get that grab. And well, once it's the massive lead that I was talking about, Aimer's uh, really far behind. And just, you know, two jab blocks and what was once. You uh, moving on to semis is looking like you know a disaster in the works. Man, that's just crazy. I just never see the. He just went for the forward tilt with like utmost confidence and just like completely sold, sold this man's soul. Okay. It confirms the vine whip and oh, oh there's a forest smash. Got a little greedy landing, goodness. but he's able to survive. What are we gonna see? <gasps> what? Oh, dude. Oh, man. I thought he was going to grab the ledge. I did, too, and I thought he was going to ledge drop back here or something like that, but didn't actually end up working the way that he had hoped. You know, I, I wasn't expecting to come out here to, to see all that today. <laughs> you know, I thought I was just going to see some normal sets. Whatever, dude. Uh, Isabel, Mirror. Yeah, we're getting Pokemon trainers and gimmicks, man. And random. Welcome to Wednesday Night Fights where the Pokemon trainers are wild and the gimmicks 